Hello, Annie Cordia again for another video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a fully automatic firework display with just a click of a button. All we're going to need for this is a couple of very easy parts to get. The most important one being the igniter because this is what's going to light the fireworks. Now if you don't find one of these you can craft one. All you need is five high quality metal and an igniter blueprint. You can find these laying around as well. There's like a 6% chance you're going to find one in a primitive crate. So just keep looking around. You Will come across one eventually. The igniter looks like this when you plonk it down, just looks like a camping stove. And when you put power into it, it will throw sparks out everywhere, hence igniting anything in its radius that can be ignited. So to put some sort of control in place, it is a good idea to put some sort of switch between. This is the most basic setup you can have for the igniter. When you flip the switch, sparks fly. Lovely jubbly. Now, as I likely mentioned earlier, fireworks isn't the only thing that it ignites, and the range of the igniter is two grid squares all the way around so how i've got the igniter set up here currently this is too many i can spread them out even more there's a reason that i put one in each square which you're going to see right now now so to set up the automatic firework display i'm just going to use a couple of generators however you're probably not going to be lucky enough to have these in your bases so anything will do i'd probably recommend a minimum of a medium battery though all we're going to need is some antennas we're obviously going to need the igniters and then we're going to need to be able to split the power from the generators down and that's the basic setup that we're going to need so each antenna needs setting up to its own frequency just out of ease i'm just going to put one two three four five six we're not going to need all six but that means when you press the button on the rf transmitter it will only speak to whatever receiver has got the same frequency it sounds confusing but it's going to be really really simple i'll talk you through it every step of the way now as i likely mentioned once we've got everything down and in place we'll put the wire into the splitter and that'll give us three even power cords and then it's just a case of setting one power into the power in then the aerial out into the igniter and then once you've got the transmitter set to the correct frequency in this case is one if you don't know how to set it just hold your right mouse button and it'll bring up the menu you press the button and it ignites and it will only ignite the one so again nice and easy all we have to do is set all the rest of them up exactly the same I know you're probably wondering why I've set them up nice and close. I'm getting there, don't worry. <laughs> Once they're all set up, it'll look like this, and this is ready to rock and roll. So you can either use one transmitter now and just keep changing the number, or if you're lucky, you can have five transmitters in this case and just keep switching from each to ignite a different set. And this gives you full control over your firework display. So you can put different fireworks in different areas and ignite them however you see fit. Now, to stop the igniters lighting the other fireworks, remember, but the range of these is two grid squares all the way around you can put quarter walls and this is why i put the igniters so close together because you can split them up with the quarter walls and this will stop the igniters from setting off the fireworks you don't want to be ignited so as you can see these two fireworks needed two separate frequencies to set off so now it's just a case of setting up however you see fit so obviously i've got a couple of champagne boomers on the end followed by some various big boom fireworks in between they're all set up from the generators to the splitters out to the receivers out to the igniters with some concrete half walls in between and even a little viewing platform that mr ginge tin man has kindly built and then it's just a case of waiting for it to get dark now we've only put four fireworks in each section you can go mental if you want there's nothing stopping you from putting as many as you can fit in each but i'm just doing it as a demonstration there is a little bit at the end where we have gone a little bit mental uh, but you'll see that soon anyway now here you can see i'm setting up the transmitters i've got five of them because i've got five little sections and i've set the frequencies to one two three four and five each one corresponding to the little area that i want to set off so it's just a case of waiting for it to get dark once it gets dark take a seat and enjoy the show mm -hmm. let's go
or now you can do what we did and fit as many fireworks as you can into one section and set them all off in a wanna. I hope you enjoy. If you made it this far, you're an absolute legend. I hope you enjoyed the video. Something slightly different than normal. Remember, if you want to see what I'm working on next, follow me on Twitter. If you want to see the next video's thumbnail before the video is even released, you can follow me on Instagram. I've also now got a Patreon that people keep asking for. Well, I've actually got one. And I'm also on the usual others like Facebook and I'm even on Twitch as well. If you're watching this video on day of release, I will be streaming either on YouTube or Twitch. So come along and say hi. We're a friendly bunch thank you all again and i'll see you all in the next video Peace.